Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka The Low Hounds, and welcome to another episode of my escape from Platinum during the preseason. Last episode, I ended off at 66 LP, Platinum 4, just two wins away from my Platinum 3 promos. And also, judging by the comments, a lot of people think that my Jax is the worst Jax they have ever seen. Well, they may be right, but somehow I am still winning more than I lose with him, so I may as well continue playing him because I want that sexy, sexy elo. So into game number one. This was my second gank on the Fiora. The first gank blew her flash, so now she doesn't have flash, so I thought this was going to be an easy kill, but I did cancel my auto, and then I was a little bit uh, too greedy for it, but luckily I just flashed away, so I didn't die, and Camille managed to get the Fiora. And then in the seventh minute, I was in the enemy jungle against the Gragas. Kassadin was on the way. He also was level six. Gragas flashed away, and I just got hit by that bind, and Morgana took me down, unfortunately, and Gragas also managed to escape. Into the tenth minute of the game, I was looking to tower dive this Fiora. I had to be careful of getting my stun parried, but she kind of failed it. And she ended up dying. About a minute later, my bot lane died. And the enemy team were doing dragon. I saw that Leona and Gragas were kind of low. So I decided to flash in. And I went for the kill. But man, I should have smited the dragon instead. Uh, but I did eventually get the kill, which is okay. But probably not worth it. I then died about two minutes later. Fast forward all the way to the 20th minute. I was doing a little bit of split pushing. But uh, Fiora was a little bit stronger than I anticipated. I guess I really am the worst Jax people have ever seen. There was now a big fight in the bot lane and it was time to get my revenge on this Fiora as I managed to take her down with Red Smite. It was now time for a five-man tower dive on this bot lane with Morgana in the top lane and Fiora dead. We got the flash from Ash. She went down first, then it was Leona, and then it was Gragas. We got four kills with no deaths, and we also got the bot lane tower. 25 minutes into the game, it was now time to look for the mid lane tower as Ezreal sniped out the Ash. We got the Gragas, and it was now time for the Leona. I was tanking tower! I tanked a shot too many, but luckily only Leona got the kill as we got three kills. But ah, uh, the enemy team started to make a comeback as they managed to pick up three kills. We did kill the Fiora, however, in return and stop them from getting our Nexus Tower. 29 minutes into the game, the dragon was up and Cassidy got hit by a bind. That started a big, big fight. I jumped in trying to tank as much damage as possible. But the enemy team absolutely smacked us. 31 minutes in, it was now the fight around Baron. And we did manage to take down the Leona. Camille was teleporting in. Unfortunately, Cassidy also died. I decided to go for this Morgana because Morgana was the strongest member on the enemy team. I flashed for no reason once again. I don't realize how low of a cooldown Jax's Q is. i got to be aware of that one. But we did manage to get the kills, and this led to us going for the Baron. It was a 50-50 smite battle. Who was going to come out on top? I got the Baron, and we killed the Gragas. Camille got the bottom lane in here while we were doing the Baron. But now the Elder Dragon had spawned, and the big, big fight erupted. I was now a lot, a lot more tankier than I was before, so I don't die instantly. The shields from Karma as well were helping, as this time... Our team managed to pull off the team fight as I picked up a double kill and my team got the rest and this led to us ending the game. I'll take that win. Game number two and you guessed it. It's Jax again. Level 3 and once again top lane was the best lane to gank. Cyan had to flash away. He got the blue buff from the enemy team. Rise flashed away but I followed up with the flash. Got the stun as well. And well Rise was not getting away. About 4 minutes later I was looking to gank this Twisted Fate who didn't have flash either. And this was once again just a very simple kill as uh, I'll take that one as well. 10 minutes into the game, Twisted Fate was very low. Once again, I flashed in for the kill and also dodged or got out of the Javan ultimate. The flash heal from Syndra. I smited the chicken to get some health back. And then, hello? Lag? What? What happened there? 
This led to us getting the middle tower. I had the four kills and I was looking for kill number five. Rise was out of position and there it was. I then got into the situation where I was in the enemy jungle. Janna face checked even though we knew they were most likely there. Jarvan came in with the ultimate. I couldn't escape. Uh, I decided to fight this one out because I knew Syndra was on the way but I got exhausted and I got shut down. But we as a team had a massive lead and we now also had Rift Herald so we used it to get a lot of towers. Scion went in with a nice ultimate as he got two of them. I then got stunned, had to use my ulti as down went Twisted Fate as well. It was now time to get the Nexus Tower. We jumped onto the rise and we were just snowballing this game. A triple kill for Syndra. That was the tower. We got the inhibitor and one of the Nexus Towers, but now the enemy team were respawning. As Jarvan went in, I decided to go in. Got a three-man stun as I took down Jarvan. Thresh also died. And then moments later, I also killed the rise. We couldn't quite end the game, so we had to reset and then came back. I ended up dying, but no need to worry. My team won the fight and ended the game. I was now into my promos. Yeah. Game number three and the first game of the promos. Can I win it? I figured once again top lane was the best lane to gank. It was Zed versus a gangplank. Not a matchup you see very often in the top lane, but I got the first kill. Nine minutes in, gangplank was on the chopping block again. He flashed away, used his oranges a bit too early. I just survived. I thought I was out alive, but LeBlanc came and stopped my back and also killed me. 14 minutes into the game, the enemy team got a little bit of momentum. However, Echo misplayed. And then I found myself in a bad situation. Polymorph is just a overpowered ability and I died. But luckily Zed cleaned up the kill. Eventually it got to a point where my team managed to pick up three kills and this led to us actually getting the mid lane inhib. We now had the momentum as a team and we were looking to make the most of it as I had my flash and flash on the echo and got my second kill. 29th minute, the enemy team had no vision of Baron. Zed was in the top lane. I was looking to get this Baron with my team, but Bard absolutely tilted me. Wow, Bard ended up giving the enemy team vision of us doing Baron and they ended up stealing the Baron. But oh well, what can I do? Not much I can do. It happens. So be it. I lost my first promo game. Can I win my promos? Find out in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop that like button. And as always, have a nice day.